Hey family, good morning to you. This is your brother Brian Ray Deep. Peace to you, peace to your home, peace to your family, peace to your community, peace to your ancestry, peace to my community, peace to my ancestry, and peace to the nation that you, I, and they are building. Peace also to the God of forces, the great spirit above, the mother of the Lord. This is in Team Marathi, everybody. So lightning. So as I mentioned on my previous video, um, I am going to dedicate this also to my eldest brother who has made his transition or made his transition late last week um, and uh, has been making his journey on home with my parents by his side. I actually have a little bit of an announcement, but I'm going to wait a second on that. Um, about a month ago, I posted a video where I was talking about um, some occurrences that happened when my uh, when my mother and my father passed away, and I described how the sky became overcast and how that was a sign of the chariots. Ladies and gentlemen, the same thing happened again with my elder brother. Um, these are things that we have to look out for. Now, this is not always going to be the case for everybody. The ancestors are very clear about this. Some of us, um, they visit using various other means. And it's important for us to recognize, you know, especially when somebody is crossing, how they manifest themselves to make it known that our significant other is exiting. It's not easy. We don't, especially once when we're going through the process of grief, we typically don't pay attention to things that are happening around us. But um, since most of us, if you notice, some of us, um, we always happen to be around when people pass away. Um, and that's because we're gatekeepers. We are the keepers of the family gate back to the ancestral realm. So... Rather, we are the last people to see the person before they pass away. Rather, we are um, close to the, the people when they pass away. Or um, we happen to come in right before they, they pass away. I mean, that's because we are the gatekeepers. And that's something that we need to understand because, um, you know, it is... You may not understand it, and it could be difficult. I'll give you a great example. When I was talking, um, my brother was in a, a nursing home, and I had this feeling that I had to call him, or excuse me, that I had to call there to see how he was doing. I knew um, he was end of life. I knew he was getting closer uh, to transitioning, but suddenly, I had this overwhelming feeling that I had to contact them and I was having issues getting through. Well, finally, when I did get through, I got through to his nurse and I'm talking to his nurse. And I asked her, how long was it going to be before he passed away? And she said it would absolutely be um, soon. And I said, OK, be, you know, within the next 24 hours, she said, oh, my God, if he hasn't passed away by tonight, I'm going to be surprised. So we're talking a little bit about other stuff, you know, about just what's happening, blah, blah, blah. And she's explaining to me how they've upped his morphine to keep him more comfortable. And then she gets a call and she says, give me one second. And then she comes back and she goes, I apologize, but you, you know, your brother just passed away. And I stopped for a moment and I go with me on the phone and she said yeah I'm so sorry and I said no 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 I go it's just like my parents and she's like I'm so sorry and I go no don't be 
because I'm a gatekeeper just like you. She goes, oh, and she's a black woman. I don't think she ever heard that term before because of the way that she responded to it. But I was like, yeah, absolutely, gatekeeper. Moments before that happened, family, I looked out the window and I started noticing as I was on the phone with her. Now, quick, quick addition to the story. We were in a major heat wave. Major heat wave. 90 degree temperatures. Hot, hot, hot. Very few. I mean, there were some, but very few clouds in sight. I had noted, right as I got on the phone with her, that I started noticing some more clouds. Just a little. But I didn't really think anything of it. I wasn't really thinking about it until she told me he passed on. I then went out. I went to my window and looked out. And wouldn't you know, there were billowing grayish clouds with a breeze coming from a specific direction in the sky. And I say specific direction because on the opposite side, not much of a breeze. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the carry me home. My brother literally jumped through the phone and used me as a portal. We need to be paying attention to this. There was a woman, because of COVID-19, she lost her, it's a black woman, she lost her husband, her daughter, her son, in the same week. And I, I want, there was a fourth one. There was a fourth one that died, too, but I can't think of who, like, what was the relationship to her. All in the same week, there was a picture that I saw of her surrounded, technically not surrounded, but there was four caskets, and she's standing with her mask on and, you know, grieving for the fact that she lost all 40s. I mean, that's a hell of a week. But that's a gatekeeper. That is a gatekeeper. powerful guys so here's the announcement um as promised i have and i'm quickly trying to open this up um as promised i have updated one second family Give me one second. All right, family, I'm back. I'm sorry. It took me a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, okay, so as promised, I have begun, and I must underline that word, begun the updating of Bobby Hammett's book list. Um, the ancestors have had me very busy. Um, I took a couple of hours to begin updating it using one um one one of the lists that i uh that i had and from that list which the list only contained maybe 25 26 eh, maybe at the most 30 books but i want to say it was more around 25 um the ancestors gave me over 100 Literally, I was looking up books, looking up and and cross-referencing, and um, I added, just from that one single list of 25 books, I added another about 110 to 120 actual books. So, um, the books range from everything. There's a lot of Egyptian stuff in it, um, some of which you'll probably already know, um, there's a lot of, there's some astrology in it. There is um, uh, Celtic stuff, stuff from China. Um, there is a bunch of tantric stuff that I added, including um, two books that uh, 
cover the Yanni massage and the Lingam massage, which um, for those of you who don't know, that is uh, genital massages that have to do with uh, uh, directing your sexual energy uh, for positive usage. Um, there is a bunch of stuff that I think you guys are going to uh, you guys are going to find interesting, including a number of books on Jung, um, a good book that I love called God is Red, uh, and the world that we used, the world we used to live in. Um, there's, you're going to find a lot that I've added to this list, a lot. Um, there are many books, there are many books, excuse me, that uh, Bobby Hammett himself recommended. And so you will see a lot of that, but, and I, I really have to be very, very honest with you. When I say this, I feel like the ancestors, you know, opened me up to the part of Bobby that is teaching on the upper realms now, because there were a lot of books that I was personally looking at and going, well, I'm a, you know, why am I even going to put that there? Like, there's a group of books from 2020 that I came across that um, I, I'll tell you, I didn't find them. They found me. They found me. I still don't even understand how I found them. They just were there. Like, I made a couple of moves, a couple of clicks, and next thing I know, boom, they're right there. And I'm going, okay. And uh, these are books that I swear, again... Bobby Hammett, the part of Bobby that is up there teaching on the other realm, because he is still up there teaching. Um, th this list came from him. This list came from him. Like it's on another level. Um, the the type of stuff that I put on there. So again, I originally started off with about two hundred books. Wouldn't be surprised if a little bit more. Um, and I put up about twenty five of those books. The rest are additions that I found laying around. Um, there are some multiple posts in the list, unfortunately, because some of them um, were older posts. I was looking through the list very quickly. Um, some of them were older posts, and they, for some reason, um, they didn't register that they were already on the list. But there are some doubles, some duplicates. Uh, that stated, as of right now, the list of books is 15 pages. So, you know, get ready for that. Uh, there is much more to come. Much more to come. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. By the way, in case you want access to that list, I always put it in. Well, I only recently started doing this, I think, in the last six months. But I always put it in um, the description of, of my videos. So you can always access it there. Always, it's public. Go and take a look at it. I'm your brother, Brian Mary Dees. Peace, guys. Peace.